Hi, welcome to cheesycode.com. Today we are going to learn how can we make a simple autocomplete without using jQuery. We will be using just plain HTML, nothing else. So I'm going to take a very simple example. We will be using a very specific HTML5 tag that is data list and we will be using it to bind data into our text box. So let's see how it works. Here I have a page, normal HTML page and just a simple HTML input box. As you can see this input box would be rendered like this. So this is the simple HTML page I have created. Now if you use this text box, it is a simple text box, we can write anything over here. So we would transform this text box into an autocomplete drop down and let's see how we will do it. So let's create another text box. Let's give it an ID with the name of txt autocomplete. And now we will create an HTML tag data list. Maybe many of you are not aware of this data list tag, but it's part of HTML5 and those browsers which support HTML5 will have no problem in rendering this autocomplete dropdown. Data list element is similar to select element in which there are multiple options and for those options we have value. So I'm going to create a data list tag and into this I'm going to introduce some options. These options would be visible when we will use this autocomplete drop down. So we'll be using some values. In our case, let's take examples of countries. Now the task is to link the text box and this data list both together. So as per HTML5 specifications, we have an attribute with the name of list. And that attribute can be used in the input tag, which specifies that this input text would be using a specific data list. And when this data list get binding to the text box, we get an autocomplete dropdown. Now in the list attribute of the text box, I will be mentioning the ID of this data list so that the both text box and the data list get binded. Now let's run this. The first text box shows the earlier text box we were using and the second one is now an autocomplete dropdown. So this is now the autocomplete dropdown. You can try it functionality by typing in different characters so that different country names would pop up. Now let's see what HTML actually rendered behind. So this is the HTML that is being rendered and in the data list there are options. So there is no jQuery at all, all being done just by simple HTML. So that's all from our side. Thank you for your time. Keep visiting cheesycode.com.